Hello viewers, this is Wao Gadaru now taking you through this tutorial on how to calculate velocity, range and time of flight for a projectile projected from level ground at an angle. So a projectile is a particle or body which when given an initial velocity can be left to move on its own in air in presence of a constant force field. The effect of air resistance is negligible or can be neglected. Projectile motion is the motion of a body which after being given an initial velocity moves under the influence of gravity. So consider a particle projected from a level ground at point A with a speed or velocity of u at an angle of theta above the horizontal as shown below. So this is a particle. So when it is projected, it will take this path. Now this path taken is known as the trajectory. This will be the initial speed of an initial velocity. This will be the direction of the speed of the particle. This is called the range AB and this is the maximum height. So now in projectile motion, we consider motion in two components. Remember it's at an angle, so we take, so we split it into two horizontal component and vertical component. So horizontal component of motion will be along that horizontal. Vertical component of motion will be along the vertical. In other words, you have to know how to resolve. I think we did that in the previous lesson on resolution and composition of forces. So comp horizontal component of initial velocity will be denoted by ux and it's given by ux equal to u cos theta. So you can see this is u, this is an angle, it's lying to the horizontal, meaning the horizontal component will take the cos and the vertical will take the sine. Therefore, uy denotes the vertical component and when you resolve it, it will take the sine which and becomes u sine theta. So this is the horizontal component of initial velocity, vertical component of initial velocity. Angle of projection, this is the angle that the direction in which the particle is projected makes with a horizontal plane through the point of projection. So this is known as our angle of projection. Trajectory, the path described by the projectiles. So like I said, this path is known as the trajectory. So we shall need to magnitude and direction of velocity at any time t. So the direction of velocity or motion, this is the angle between the line representing the direction of the velocity or the projectile and the horizontal to that particular time. So this will be the projectile at, the, at any time t. The acceleration for horizontal motion is zero. So a is equal to zero. And why is it so? It's because the horizontal component is not affected by gravity. Remember, act, gravity acts vertically downwards. So for horizontal motion, acceleration will be zero. However, acceleration for vertical motion is negative acceleration due to gravity. In other words, be equal to negative g. And the negative is because the particle starts by moving upwards. I think you can see from here, it went, goes vertically upwards for the vertical component. Then it comes down. That is why we put there the negative of acceleration due to gravity. So we shall derive, derive some of the equations to be used in projectile. So considering horizontal motion, first equation of motion, it says that V equal to U plus AT. Now remember for vertical comp for horizontal component, A is 0, U is UX, and V is VX. And we know that Ux is the same as U cos theta. This becomes 0, so everything here becomes 0. So in the end we shall get Vx equal to U cos theta. For vertical motion, Vy equal to Uy minus Gt. So Uy, we know it is U sine theta, so that will be the equation for Vy. When you combine the two, shall be able to come up with the final velocity or the resultant velocity using Pythagoras theory to get that. Then this one, if this is the angle opposite is here, adjacent is here. So tan beta will be equal to Vy over Vx. We also need to know something about time of flight and range. For time of flight, this is the time taken by the particle to return to the same horizontal level as the point of projection. 
So if this is the particle, the horizontal level will be this. So time taken will be from here through C to B. That will be the time of flight. Then the dis distance is known as the range. So I need to also know the formulas to get time of flight and range. Now for time of flight, you should know that the displacement vertically is zero. Therefore, S will be zero. Using the second equation of motion, we shall substitute SY equal to UYT minus a half GT squared. Now, UY is the same as U sine theta, so we substitute it. And T is the time of flight. So we substitute our capital T as the time of flight. And here we put zero, so this becomes a quadratic. We can factorize out T, which is common, to get this. So either t is 0 or the whole of this is 0. For t equal to 0, the particle is initial at A. Then the, this other time we shall get here will be the when the particle is at B. And is the one you are interested in. So come at this point, make t the subject, you should come up with that. So that will be the formula for time of flight. Still when you use the second equation for horizontal motion, displacement is Sx in Initial velocity is ux times t plus. Remember, acceleration is zero, so we put zero here. So the whole of this goes away. And ux is the same as u cos theta. So come and substitute. Our t is the same as capital T, which is time of flight, which was this. So we put here capital T. Now we can also substitute for capital T and get this. Then you rearrange to get that. If you arrange further, we shall be able to get this. 2 sin theta cos theta, and we all know it from trigonometry that 2 sin theta cos theta is equal to sin 2 theta. So replace this with sin 2 theta, we'll be able to come up with u squared sin 2 theta over g. And that will be the formula for range. So we shall use those formulas to come up with the solutions to these problems. A particle is projected with a velocity of 196 meters per second at an angle of 30 degrees to the horizontal. Calculate Roman 1, time of flight, Roman 2, range of the particle, and Roman 3, magnitude and direction of the velocity with which the particle hits the ground. So this is the initial velocity, this is the angle of projection. So the one time of flight, time of flight is time taken to move from A through C to B. So time of flight is given by the formula, I think we already saw it, 2u sine theta over g. So 2 is there, u is 196, theta is 30. And G for physics, we use G as 9.81. So, in this episode, we come up with 19.9796 seconds. So, that will be the time of light. Roman 2, they wanted the range. Range can be got by using this formula ut cos theta. U is 196, T is 19.9796, and theta is 30. When you substitute, you come up with 339.3590 meters. You can also use this formula. I think we saw both formulas. So when you substitute u squared, it will be 196 squared. And 2 theta will be 2 times 30 degrees. And g will be 9.81. So in that case, you'll get the, uh, the range as 3391.3590. I think you see that the answers are the same. So any of the formulas works. And Roman 3, they wanted the velocity with which the particle hits the ground. So in this case, the horizontal component of velocity at that point will be given by u cos theta. So u is 196, theta is 30. Substitute will come up with 98 root 3 as your horizontal component. For the vertical component, the formula is u sine theta minus gt. So u is known 196, theta is 30, g is 9.81, and t is the time of flight, which is 19.9796. When you substitute, you come up with negative 97.9999 meters per second. So those are the horizontal and vertical components. We have to combine them to get the resultant velocity which they want. So horizontal is positive, meaning it will go to the right. Vertical is negative, meaning it will go downwards. So when you join the two, you'll be able to get the resultant velocity which they want. So use Pythagoras theory, theory you'll come up with your velocity as 196.0 meters per second and remember this is opposite this is adjacent for this beta so tan beta will be equal to opposite over adjacent which is that and you end up with beta as 30.0 degrees therefore the particle is the ground with a velocity of 196.0 meters per second in the direction 
30.0 degrees below the horizontal. That has been the end of our lesson. Please thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel, Roa e-learning platform. Thank you.